Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Susan with Paper Craft Possibilities and welcome to our newbies. Appreciate you being here. Today we have an unboxing, so let's roll that intro and I'll be right back with you. some stuff from Amazon. I'll try and keep the noise here to a minimum. Oops. I've opened some of these just to take out um, any invoices to protect our family's privacy. Um, I wanted something for my Cricut blades since I've been using my Cricut a lot. So I didn't want them like floating around, especially when we've got little munchkins hanging out. So I got that, we'll have to see how that works. Let me open this and see. Uh, looking for my crafting knife, here we go. If any of you have this, let me know what you think. Interesting. It looks as if, oh my goodness, I'm not gonna make you watch me struggle through this, but it looks like the top of the housings just sit up here and then they rest in, let's see if I can show you. Yeah, there it is. The bottom area here. So it looks like they'll be safe in there and you know, they won't be just hanging out on my desk. So I like that. Put that aside. The other thing I got were some metallic pins for my Cricut. Um, I'm going to be using those. I have some black envelopes I want to use to address some cards. So I'll let you know how those work out. This was a total experiment. I saw that these were generic blades for my Cricut. The only thing is, and hopefully some of you can help me out, is I noticed it says Maker 3, but not Maker. So I may have ordered wrong because I have a Maker, not Maker 3. But um, I was in need of blades, and these blades are so expensive. And this was like an eighth of the cost of the branded Cricut blades. So we'll see how this goes. So there are those. And on to this one. I'm missing something. So here are just some tools that I needed. Uh, in particular, I needed the scraper. The other things are just kind of secondary. And then I also wanted the spatula. So um, I wanted to be able to lift some stuff up if I've glued it down. And um, this was an off-brand one also. I'm hoping it works out again because it was less expensive. I'll link all this down below so you all if you're in need of something, you can get that too. And here are some Cricut, again, off-brand pens. I'm hoping that they work out okay. Pardon the noise, I'm so sorry. What I'll end up doing is doing a pen test on all of these. Because as you know, that the colors don't always... Let me grab a piece of paper here. Dual sided. So you've got this pen. That size, I should say. And then you've got more of a, a larger side to it. So I'll go through and do a pen test on all of these or pen sampling. That's what I've done with my Triblin markers. Let me show you so I can better explain myself. So I've done this with my Triblin markers and it's very, very helpful so I can match up colors because the, the I'm, these pens just don't always look like what they're supposed to look like. <laughs> 
See, that's pretty bright comparing, compared to this. This has a lot more brown, if you will, in it. So anyways, so I'll be doing that soon here. It's a nice container that they come in. I like this. So I can keep them right close to my Cricut. I can use them on anything else too, but they're supposed to be usable on my Cricut. So I'll let you know how that goes. Then, put this stuff away. Can't lose that thing, that's important to me. And then we have a large order from, hopefully you can see this, yep, scrapbook.com. Okay, this is another collection from, I believe it is 49 and Market. And this is called Vintage Artistry Sunburst. And I got this because I have a lot of, um, Hawaii type pictures and cruise pictures that I need to document. So I wanted something that was more tropical. So here we have this paper. Obviously this is a branding strip down here so you would cut that off. Boy, that's pink. Oh, I like this side. Be cute for a birthday party too. Look like the, um, like a fishing net there, a nice yellow, and I really like this design that they have on those. Put that back over there for a minute. Stack this side off to the side. So this is called the um, Essential File Set. And you'll see here there's just lots of pockets. So this would be good for your ephemera that you want to include, um, your maps, your you know, if you have tickets, that type of thing that you want to include in your scrapbook, you would just take these, fold these down like this, and then you would tape up the sides here and put that down in your scrapbook and use that as a pocket. So lots of these here. That would be even cute, you know, like four up on a page like this. And you could even tuck some pictures into that. There's that. Oh my goodness, look at the size of this envelope. It's so cute. I love it. Look at that. Ugh. Oh, this one's perfect for um, like the Caribbean. A yellow tone on that. There's that pink. I can see using this pink on a little girl's birthday. Maybe you could tuck in here some of the cards she received or her guest list, that kind of thing. And here's just some bigger pockets. And what's nice is you've got, let me see if I can fold this. You may not be able to see this on screen. You could tuck down those sides like that. So you put tape there and you can have a pocket here so you could stick something in here and then something behind here too and stick it in. So those are awesome. I love those. And this one, you just lay it in like this and there's two pockets. Wow, this is perfect. If you have things from vacation that you wanna hang on to. Let me put this behind me. And then we have the bobbles, they call them. Wishing bobbles and bubbles, bobbles. <laughs> so um, again, the vintage art artistry set. Um, things are like, you know, shine, hello, heat wave, fun times right here. The good life, good times. So there's just dots. Some of the dots have stripes in them. Some have polka dots. Here you have... Um, a seahorse, you have a turtle, a um, star, starfish, and some flowers, a pineapple. And let me, there's little tiny, tiny hearts down here. 
cute. Um, this is uh, an order again from scrapbook.com and you usually get something freebie thrown in and I got some of these double-sided adhesive round shapes. Then we have the film strip frames and there are a lot in here from what I can see. And this is still part of that collection. This whole order will be. I've learned that it pays to get the whole set. And then when it comes down to the end, if you don't use them, then you just, you know, you put them in with all your other ephemera and things. But I keep them all together as a group. That's just how I personally like to work. Let's see if I can show you. Bear with me. So you can use this as a frame, just this. So it looks like an old film strip here on the sides. And then you've got another frame in here. My goodness, you could use this for so many. So here is another frame. And then here is one. And then these all pop out, these little squares. Really cool. So there are those, and there's a ton of them. And all of the really bright colors in this collection. This would be fun. If you, you know, when you go and you do the uh, like little photo booths to put those pictures in there. So there are a lot of those. And typical of 49 and Market, you'll be able to use the packaging on here. You see like there's a map on there. You can use that in your scrapbooks too, so don't get rid of that. Then you saw this paper, but there's some more paper here I wanna open. I just, I ordered more on top of the standard that come in the collection. Again, you can use these, cut them out and use them as ephemera in your sets. Look at that. You could even cut all that out. Ooh, how fun is that? One giant picture here. That's fun. Very, very tropical. That would be very Caribbean, I can see that. I could see that being like Florida. Definitely, definitely like a Caribbean thing. I can see that being again. Ooh, this could be used for so many things. Doesn't even have to be tropical. That would be, yeah, I mean, somewhat of a masculine. It's got some flowers in it, but I think it could work. Look at those palm trees. I don't, can't read what it says, but it's something island over here. That's a good, just a subtle print. Here you have a flamingo and you have a boat in a bottle, ship in a bottle, I should say. Ooh, that's fun. Looks like a big old watermark. There's that pink again. Let me see if I can turn this the right way. Sorry, make you dizzy. First I thought it was upside down, but it was fine. There's that bright pink again, I love it. Wow, this is something you'd have to use in small batches, this one. And there's the pineapples. How many people know the pineapple story? If you know the pineapple story, give me a thumbs up down below. <laughs> You'll know what I mean if you know about the pineapple story. Okay, so a bunch of stamps. Love this. I love that blue, one of my favorites. And there is the blue again. Oh, I love that blue. And we're back to the papers we looked at previously. So again, we're, you know, it's the um, set from 49 and Market Vintage artistry sunbursts and I got the rub-ons 
and um, a rub-on transfer sheet, rub-on transfer sheet, and I got two of them. I got the words and the um, things, if you will. So there's pineapple, starfish, there's a lighthouse in a bottle. I'm not going to take these out. And again, I um, kind of shared with you previously is if when you take these out, staple the sheets together. It's very important. Or your transfers, when they come in contact with another transfer, are going to start sticking. So um, I will hope to use these on some pages very, very soon. Um, I'm really looking forward to working with these and sharing with you how they can work in either your scrapbooks or your, they can work anywhere, but um, if you have a journal, a travel journal that you, you know, take with you, these add no bulk whatsoever and look like they're part of the sheets. So love them. <laughs> I just noticed one of these it says bathing beauties. Everything is fine where there is sunshine. This is our paradise. <laughs> bathing beauties is cute. Let's see over here. Oh, it just shows you what's in there. So here are some of my favorites, as I have in my other collection. These are the words and the word strips. And these are perfect for working with titles. So let me finish pulling these out. Oh, look, there's that sun print again. That's the, um, it's called the word set. Sunburst chipboard word set. I mean, I'll just show you a couple of these. I mean, hello, friends, sweet. Again, you could use that with that pink paper for um, a, a little girl's birthday party. Let's see. Swim on this day. Let's see. Best time. Loved, relax, wet. Splash, fun, and then you have the smaller word strips all together. Watch, poolside, smile, friend. So, a lot of good words for titles in there, and they're not super thick. They are a chipboard, but they're not as thick as other chipboard, which is great because they don't add a lot of thickness to your albums. Put that over there. This is the ephemera bits. Try and keep these all together. Same collection as uh, the other ones. Again, I'm trying to buy the whole collection at once so I don't have to worry about things matching. Okay, whoops, a few more pieces. Now, um, I've mentioned it before, but for those of you who don't know, this is going to be, these are ephemera die cuts for the most part, because a lot of these are going to have the white around them, and they're not going to be a detailed cut like the ones that are laser cut. And what's nice about this is it's already done some layering for you. So you have a seashell, a butterfly, and some greenery. So if you're not fond of doing um, layering, a lot of this can be done for you here. This looks like just a piece of ripped paper, which is nice. Again, a nice quality. Oh, it's a nice pineapple. This is fun. So a lot of larger pieces that can be used in here. Explore, you could do some good journaling here. Another piece, I might think about making that a pocket. It goes this way actually, because of the words and sticking some of your ephemera here in the pocket. Oh my goodness, guys. Um, so here's a frame. Oh, it looks like, you know, old worn wood. What is this? This looks like a ledger of some kind. Then this was inside of the frame, but then this pops out. So here is a butterfly, butterfly. Some more tags. I just used tags like this on another sheet. A postcard. Let's see if there's anything I'm really, the big stuff I'm missing. Ooh, I like that blue again. Oh, look at these bows. They look so lifelike. Let me show you. 
Look at these. Aren't they fun? Look at that. Live in the sunshine. Boy, I can relate to that right now as uh, it's raining outside my window. Uh, let's see, a couple more. Life with you is a grand adventure. A lighthouse. There's a lighthouse a lot like that in Hawaii. On Kauai. There's another lighthouse. So, that there is the set called Ephemera Bits. And here is the laser cut. And I'll just open these again so you can see the detail in the laser cuts. So here is where you'll see the detail of a laser cut. Um, and again, please be careful with these when you're punching these out. Let's see. Well, let's go over here to this little flamingo. I mean, look at his legs there and look at the detail of how that's cut. It's just amazing to me. So there's lots of things like that in here. I mean, look at this um, like ship window. Perfect for a cruise. Here is a lifeguard station. This will be fun to work with. And here are some more in this collection. And so that one is called Vintage Artistry General Laser Cut Elements. Then these are the this is um, also laser cut, but these are the foil foliage. It's funny. They look really small here, and you flip this over. They're not small. I mean, look at my hand. That shows you how big this tree is. Palm tree. I'm just going to open this real quick to see what all is in here. So this is the foliage. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at that. That yellow is beautiful. I just planted a bunch of yellow flowers out in my front yard. Look at this. I mean, can you guys see the detail? The cutouts there? Wow. That's gonna be incredible to use. There's that. And then this, again, comes in these really nice packages from 49 and Market. And this is called the Sunburst Cluster Kit. And again, the clustering is done for you. And this particular set comes with um, the enamel dots. And it comes with some string. It comes with some buttons and some little, um, uh, why am I dropping? Clothespins. Couldn't think of the word. So a lot of the clustering's done for you already on these. So let's flip through some of this and see what we have. There's that yellow envelope. We saw that earlier. Curiosity. No. Prospect House, Shelter Island. That looks spooky. Okay. This says Beach Day. Um, a doily, which could be used on anything. Several of these things could be used on anything that isn't necessarily tropical. You guys see that little seahorse's eyes? I don't know if I like that or not. <laughs> Soak in the sun. Um, again, some things that can be used anytime. 
uh, we just moved not too long ago from San Diego to Washington and um, we could use a lot of that stuff in San Diego. Here it shows you how you can take the things that are in the set and use them for clustering. So here you have some of the string and the clothespin and a button and you can make this cluster here. Same thing here. So it shows you how to use the things that are in this package. So that'll come in handy. So hopefully you've all, you know, learned something from this. Stop the presses. It has arrived. Yep, it's true. Stop the presses. <laughs> Um, I was editing this video and another order arrived, so I thought instead of doing a whole other video, we're just going to complete this with this order. This is from a company called My Little Scrapbook Company, and they've been kind enough to provide us with a discount code. So down in the description below, you will find that, and I believe it's going to save you 10 or 15 percent. Don't quote me on that, but... I'll have the code down there, so it helps me out a little because it doesn't cost you anything, but it helps me produce the videos. So let's open it up. I've only taken out the invoice so um, I can save my privacy. And uh, here we go. Aww. I had seen this before where, um, pardon me, this company will um, include this ribbon that matches what you've ordered. So isn't that kind? Appreciate that. And it's all grow grain ribbon, which I like. So let's see what we've got. So let me just pull out one collection first. And they're smaller collections, so this won't take very long. I'm gonna start with the paper first. This one is by Coco Vanilla and the collection is called The Great Escape. Let me find the entrance. <laughs> I'm hoping to be able to use this for some RVing items that I have. We've gone on several RV trips. Um, here's the sticker sheets. Say hello to new adventures. Not all who wonder are lost. <laughs> Wild child. I have that on some baby pictures that I want to use. Um, so there's that. Here's the cover part. And I'm just gonna kind of flip through these papers real quick for you. I like that chevron print. Great for camping pictures. Pine trees on there, or trees. Anything with a plaid, I'm in. Look at the mountains. Pretty. Those are, um, I'm sure you can see it on the video. Let me hold it closer. They are sunshines, or suns. Some feathers. And these are all directional type compass things, some cut aparts, <laughs> roam if you want to. That'd be perfect for my husband and I right now. Hiking's kind of out of the question for us right now. Um, going on an adventure, chasing the horizon, adventure awaits, all kinds of things. The outdoor is calling, perfect for my RV pictures. This one um, are moon and clouds. This would actually be really good too for like a sleeping baby page, um, a little boy baby. It's like a gray blue color. Oh, I like this one, the geometric print. And these are like little plus signs. These are all like the pennants. And another chevron in a different color, I believe. So, oh no, we're in the repeats. Well, no, because here come some stars. Yes, we are in a repeat. Okay, so those are the papers. So you get two each of eight designs. Nice. I will get lots of use out of that one. Put that aside for a minute. 
And I'm not gonna undo these. These are the little stickers that go with this. And you've got stars here, like the compass shape, um, and just some simple circles. There's that. These are the ephemera, and there's 41 pieces in here. Here's kind of the back to that. Let me open them real quick. I don't want to keep you guys any longer than you need to be here. So trees, kind of a map, a frame, um, wild by nature, the good old SUV. There's that geoprint again. Almost looks like bowls that are stacked. You know, the old, um, oh my gosh, what are the names of the bowls? Pyrex. Fun Times RV, that's good. Or trailer, mountains, some woodcuts, a tent, a lantern. So you get the idea here. And these are gonna come in handy gone fishing. So there is that. So once again, those are called, it's the great escape, but what are they calling this collection? Die cut ephemera. So it's not the collection. It's what it is within the collection. And I'm not going to open these again. These are puffy words and there's 64 pieces here and their foam title stickers are the official title. So you can kind of see those. I like to find the funny ones. You can mix these up to make your own title. So like this would be The Great Adventures or you could say Hello, excuse me, that says Outdoors. So The Great Outdoors or Hello Outdoors. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but you get the vibe. Wild Thing, um, Fun Thing, Fun Times. Uh, so you get the idea. So there are those and those are foam title stickers and they're like a charcoal black it's not a true black it's more of a gray black these are chipboard stickers and i like that they have the sticky backs to them um a lot of the sayings we've seen like so much fun wild thing chase the sun um there's a um you know outdoor like fire pit so there's that so that is that collection this one i'm really kind of excited about Ooh already open that's nice I'd seen someone else talk about this and I've been wanting some more masculine type of papers and so this is where I went with this um, I've done some photography work in my life so I'm gonna um, do some featuring with this but then I also have some vintage pictures some this has got foiling on it can you see that this brick wall. I've got some um, vintage pictures and some vintage military pictures that I think this would be really good with. This has some gold foiling on it. Another brick wall, just a darker tone. These are, um, you know, animals. And I'm dropping the word for this animal right here, but we went to a national park and they walked right up to our car. So why can't I think of that word, you guys? I get on the camera and I just can't remember the words. Here are some cassette tapes, which will be great for my 70s pages that I'll do. Some of you are probably too young, but I remember popping these in my car when I was a teenager. Uh, some looks like, you know, printing blocks here. Some wood grains. Some geometrics, a chevron. I could see cutting these chevrons apart and using them as... Um, detail stripping, um, skulls of animals. I'm not sure I'll be using that one. Here's a map, some cut aparts, and again, you have some foiling on this. And if I remember correctly, these have some really funny sayings in it. Um, find your wild, that could have gone better, nope, oh snap. Um, everyone rock, everyone, every day is rock day. Um, you're my fave, best friends. Um, let's see. We'll kill you, so choose something fun. Everything will kill you, so choose something fun. <laughs> you got to have a little bit of humor in life, right? 
So these are just repeats. Um, enjoy the ride. I cannot, oh, excuse me, I cannot live, laugh, love under these conditions. Um, do it anyway. Yeah, this will be perfect. Um, a couple years ago, or actually about a year and a half ago, my husband were on an RV trip and we ended up in South Dakota during uh, the motorcycle um, event. That's huge. So we had bikers everywhere and it was an interesting trip. On my other channel, um, which is our Senior Adventures, we have a whole video about it. and That's one that's fun to watch. Um, so this collection, I forgot to say, is called Cedar House. These are, let me pull out a tray here. The ephemera bits that go with this. And it looks like this one was opened already. Let me, these almost look like they might be acetate ones in here. Let me pull this off. I do keep, I put all this in an envelope, a little tiny envelope, I'll have to share that with you. Um, and I, Put this in with them so I know what these pieces are. So when I use them, I can mention it on the videos for y'all. So, no, this isn't all acetate in here. This is a little bit of both. That is acetate. Oh, these sayings are just so funny. Whatever makes your soul happy. Not funny, but true. Take the scenic route. These are cute. Find your wild. Never look back. I love that one. Um, don't kill my vibe. <laughs> Urban life. Um, strong. Here are some of the cut aparts of the cassette tapes. Let's see if there's anything else in here. There's a lot of things in here, but I'm kind of looking for the funny sayings in here. Whoever wrote these did really, they did really well. Um, let's see. Dreaming is free. Isn't that the truth? Uh, amazing. Hello. Stand tall. Today is the day. And then there's quite a few tags in here. And I like that the color tones, because you're in the, within this collection, they're all going to go together which is what I love. I just pick up the whole collection and when I know I have pictures that match these, I pull out the whole collection and that's all I'm working with is that collection. I do keep some plain colored cardstock here to coordinate with all this, but other than that, this is all I pull out to work with particular pictures. And here's some more ephemera. This, um, I just called ephemera for this set again. This almost looks like it might be the, uh, this is a tray again. So a typewriter, this would be good for a journal. And these are very, they're thin, thinner ones. This would definitely be a good set for the journal, for a journal, excuse me. Soul happy. There's that saying again, I cannot live, laugh, and love under these circumstances. Some mushrooms, there's some foil pieces in here, some headphones, a world, um, a really nice camera, a Polaroid camera, a globe. So these are the ones I would, the set I would get if you're using this in a journal. And I'm going to share my travel journal with you um, in the next video or two so you can see how I record everything while I'm out traveling. And then I come back and I make the more detailed pages. Here, these are um, a more, ac not acetate's the wrong word, vellum. <laughs> we may not have it all together, but together we have it all. Love that. Bright days ahead. Um... Oh, someday I'll remember your name, Mr. Animal. Roses. These are all, punch. you punch these out. Uh, album, LP, a squirrel. 
And let's see. <laughs> that could have gone better. Some birds, a thumbs thumbs out for like hitchhiking maybe. So there is that. Let me put the cover with it so I don't get them mixed up. Here are some very tiny puffy stickers. I mean, they're super tiny. If you can see my hand in conjunction with that. So um, it'll be interesting to see how I can use these, but I like them. There's a typewriter, cassette, there's glasses. Um, there's more of the skeleton head of an animal. Um, these are really cool puffy letters because they are wood grain. So very masculine. Here are, in the same collection, what are they called? These are just the stickers. <laughs> Living the, and then it's crossed out in plan B. Hats off to whoever wrote these. Um, nope, hype, unique, hustle, stand tall, plan B. So a lot of cute sayings. Um, <laughs> this one's funny too. But did you die? <laughs> I went on a speedboat this last summer and... Um, it was fun, but I'm sure some people were thinking that, but did you die? Um, some more puffy stickers. And um, this is, again, that gray-black color. And on this side, you have your uppercase and some numbers. On the flip side, you have your lowercase and some more numbers. And last but not least, this is seriously the best. Take the scenic route ad adventure. Uh-oh. Looks like an E has fallen out somewhere. I need to find that. Um, epic, stay humble, original, forged, forged in the fire. Work, play, work, play hard, work hard, play hard is what that's supposed to say. Um, that could have gone better. Nope. Adventures fill your soul. Best friends, authentic. Cute. I like that. So I promise you. That's it. <laughs> so again, I will leave all the dis the discount code down below for um, my little scrapbook store. And um, I just love those collections. They're fun, a little different. So I'll leave that down below. And um, remember, we have a monthly drawing to give out a free stamp slash die cut and die cut, excuse me. Just leave a uh, comment, subscribe, and um, a like on the video down below. That helps us with YouTube. And until next time, goodbye. <laughs>